So on the 24th of May, 2022, USCIS announced that they were now going to offer premium processing for EB2 NIW applications. So this just means that you're able to expedite um, getting a response from USCIS once you turn in your form I-140, okay? Now, I want you guys to note that this does not mean that you're gonna get approved, right? This just guarantees that within 45 days from receiving your petition, that they will give you a response, which could be an approval. It could also be a denial notice. It could be a notice of intent to deny, or it could be a request for more evidence. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ozzy. If this is your very first time of joining this channel, this channel was created for you. Especially those of you who are interested in applying for a US green card through the merit-based EB2 NIW pathway, which means employment-based, second preference, national interest waiver category. Now, this is my favorite way of applying for a US green card, of course, because you can do it yourself. You don't need a lawyer, you don't need a sponsor. You can, you know, as long as you're qualified, you can go ahead and turn in your application, right? So today we're going to talk about a very exciting, I think in my opinion, the most exciting thing about EB2 NIW so far, the fact that you, premium processing is now available for EB2 NIW and we're going to talk all about that today, all right? So if you're interested in this kind of content, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. If you love the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments about this, you have experience about this, or maybe you've considered it in the past and maybe you did it, did it work for you? Any such comments, please will go, will be greatly appreciated. Put that in the comment section and we'll love to read your comments, all right? Okay, so this is about premium processing for EB2 NIW, the process for that, and of course, what that means. So on the 24th of May, 2022, USCIS announced that they were now gonna offer premium processing for EB2 NIW applications. So this just means that you're able to expedite um, getting a response from USCIS once you turn in your form I-140, okay? Now, I want you guys to note that this does not mean that you're gonna get approved. Right. This just guarantees that within 45 days from receiving your petition, that they will give you a response, which could be an approval. It could also be a denial notice. It could be a notice of intent to deny, or it could be a request for more evidence. All right. But it just guarantees that if you pay an extra 2,500, that USCIS is going to give you a response in 45 days, guys. This is like so exciting. And a lot of people have been exploring that option or even thinking about that. And so that's one of the things that USCIS has made available. Again, it doesn't guarantee an approval. It just guarantees that you're going to hear from them fast in 45 days. Now, a lot of people ask me, is it worth it to do the premium processing? I would say again, it, just, it all depends on two things in my opinion. Number one is your timeline. You know, Some people are a quarter to getting out of status. And so for them, time is of the essence. If that is you, you, you and you can afford it, Yes, please go ahead and consider the premium processing. But if you are someone who probably has a lot of years in your OPT or in your H1B, um, you have that time, I will say maybe wait it out a little bit and see how long it'll take for them to respond to you. In my opinion, it's been taking a lot shorter for people to hear from USCIS starting 2022. Now, a lot of people who applied during the pandemic experienced a longer wait. But the clients who I've worked with this year have told me that, you know, they've, we've gotten responses from USCIS approvals um, much, much earlier. Approvals even as early as two months after submission. And so you see that the USCIS is definitely starting to pick up the pace when it comes to new applications. And so I don't know if it's going to be worth even turning in that premium processing. But if you intend to do so, um, you're going to do so using the form I. 907 all right from i907 that's the form for premium processing that costs uh, 2500 it has nothing to do with your um, payment for your i140 so you're still going to pay for your i140 of course um, but they're starting out with people who have already turned in the applications and going in phases the mailing address for the form i907 um, which is for premium processing will also depend on where your i140 was sent to and so um, you go on their website, USCIS website, I'll put the details in the description portion. You go on the USCIS website 
and find out the right address to send your form I-907 if you're gonna take advantage of this, okay? And if you've already done so, please let us know in the description portion how that went, you know, how, you, what are the services you were able to access? Did you get an approval? Um, were you able to get um, quick response from USCIS? Of course, they say, if you don't hear from us in 45 days, we're gonna return your money. And so we want to know if anyone has had any experience with this and how that went, of course, all right? So thank you guys so much for listening. It's been a wonderful episode. If you guys have any questions, please go ahead and ask in the description portion of this video. And we'll be very happy to answer your questions. Until we meet on the next video, see you and bye for now. Bye-bye.